picture this. It's 2024 and in a bustling office in Sydney, Jane, a mid-level manager, is juggling meetings, emails and project deadlines. Suddenly, she gets a notification. Your AI assistant has drafted your meeting summary, scheduled your next week's tasks and even sent out follow-up emails. Jane sighs in relief. But there's a shadow of doubt in her eyes. What was once a bustling office is now eerily quiet as more tasks get automated and fewer people are needed. Hi, I'm Isabella Alexiou and welcome to the TGL channel. Today we're delving into the impact of generative AI on the Australian workforce. From its origins to its pervasive influence, we'll uncover the dark side of this technological revolution. Think Global Logistics. Generative AI, or Gen AI, has evolved rapidly. Initially part of broader AI research, these models can create content, predict trends, and engage in conversations. ChatGPT, for instance, gained 100 million users within two months of its release, faster than any technology in history. This rapid adoption signals a seismic shift in how we interact with technology. Unlike traditional AI, which performs specific tasks, Gen AI can process and generate vast amounts of unstructured text, making it highly versatile. This flexibility, however, comes with significant risks, as noted by Wachowiak and McDonald. In Australia, the impact of Gen AI is already profound. By 2023, over 38.9% of tasks within jobs were exposed to large language models, affecting nearly 40% of workers' time. This widespread adoption is not just transforming industries, it's displacing workers and creating economic instability. Victoria will be in lockdown within the next 48 hours. Here are the latest developments in the coronavirus crisis. During the pandemic, the Australian government invested heavily in economic support and skills development. But these efforts are proving insufficient against the tide of automation. Despite a resilient labour market, there is a persistent skills mismatch and inflation is eroding real wages, hitting low-income households the hardest. This transition is complicated by regional disparities, the risks of automation, with areas like Sydney Southwest showing higher vulnerabilities. As generative AI advances, regulatory frameworks struggle to keep pace. Legislators are now faced with the challenge of regulating an industry that could grow our economy by a third come the end of the decade. The Australian government has made efforts, organising consultations and investing in AI technologies. Yet these measures fall short of addressing the rapid and unpredictable evolution of AI. Current regulations are voluntary, guided by eight AI ethics principles. However, these principles are often too broad and lack enforcement, leaving significant gaps that could be exploited by malicious actors. Despite this, the fast-paced development of Gen AI outstrips regulatory responses, creating a precarious balance between innovation and safety. The risks of Gen AI are manifold. Privacy breaches, cybersecurity threats, misinformation and job displacement are just the tip of the iceberg. In Australia, nearly half of workers' tasks are exposed to accountability and liability risks. Privacy, cybersecurity and ethical bias risks affect almost 20% of workers' time. These risks are not just technical challenges, they represent existential threats to the workforce. The potential for job displacement is particularly alarming. While Gen AI can drive productivity gains, it can also lead to significant labour market disruptions. Some of the most exposed occupations include construction estimators, translators and public relations professionals, where over 90% of tasks can be automated. The impact of Gen AI on different occupations varies widely, but the threat of automation looms large. 
jobs requiring physical presence and specialised skills, like meat processing or metal fabrication, are less affected. But for how long? This divergence in AI exposure highlights the urgent need for targeted upskilling programs. Workers in highly exposed occupations need to adapt quickly or face the grim reality of job displacement. The global supply chain is a complex, ever-evolving system, striving for efficiency, cost reduction and customer satisfaction. Yet it faces increasing challenges due to rising customer expectations, market fluctuations and the need for sustainable practices. Here, Generative AI offers promising solutions. By analysing massive volumes of historical data, GenAI can generate valuable insights and facilitate better decision-making processes. For example, Microsoft Copilot, introduced in 2023, integrates AI-driven capabilities into CRM and ERP systems, enhancing supply chain visibility and responsiveness. This tool gathers supplier-related news and uses AI to generate targeted communications, helping supply chain managers mitigate risks proactively. Moreover, generative AI in logistics is revolutionising demand forecasting, supply chain optimization, and supplier risk assessment. AI models analyse historical sales data, traffic conditions and financial reports to optimise routes, predict demand accurately and assess supplier reliability. This technological advancement not only enhances operational efficiency, but also helps in early detection of anomalies, ensuring a resilient and adaptive supply chain. The integration of GenAI in logistics represents a significant step towards a more efficient and responsive supply chain management, capable of addressing the complexities of modern market dynamics. So what does the future hold? Generative AI has the potential to boost Australian labour productivity significantly, but at what cost? The net impact on employment remains uncertain and potentially devastating. It will depend on how effectively businesses, workers and policymakers navigate the transition. Upskilling, responsible AI deployment and innovative regulatory frameworks are crucial. But the current trajectory suggests a future where human labour is increasingly marginalised. The challenge is not just technological, it's ethical and societal. Can we steer this technological revolution towards a more inclusive and equitable future? Or are we headed towards a dystopian reality where machines dominate? As generative AI becomes more embedded in our daily lives, its influence will only grow. Large language models like ChatGPT have already demonstrated their potential to transform industries by automating complex tasks and enhancing productivity. However, the rapid adoption of GenAI raises critical questions about job displacement, ethical considerations, and the future of work. As we stand on the brink of this AI-driven transformation, it's clear that generative AI is not just a buzzword. It's a powerful force reshaping our world, often in ways we least expect. Whether it's Jane in her Sydney office or a construction worker on a job site, everyone will feel the impact. The challenge and opportunity lie in harnessing this technology responsibly, ensuring a future where both humans and AI can coexist and thrive. If you like this content and would like further video deep dives, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.